Ever heard of Madly Deeply? No. I thought your wife might know, and she didn't know. But now she does know, so you can jump on top of that and you can get... Alan Rickman's Diary? Yes. I heard you. I was eavesdropping. Oh, okay. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Rexits of Corbett. I'm not Alan Rickman. <laughs> Understatement of the century? You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks for watching. Follow us on Instagram, subscribe to the like button. <laughs> Favorite Alan Rickman film? I have still have a ton of his to see. I mean, probably Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter, yeah. obviously. You know, he in the book, uh, uh, one of the things in the, in the forward to the book, it's Emma Thompson because they were very close friends. And she said that whenever they went out to dinner with him, no matter who was with them, he would pick up the check. And if you ever balked at that and wanted to pay, he would say, and I cannot do an Alan Rickman impersonation, no, but he would just look at you and say two words, Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> He's not lying. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Daniel Radcliffe is worth over $200 million, not because he made uh, all his weird films right now. <laughs> no, that th- those those cast members have made and will always be making a lot of money from that yep. franchise. Uh, today we have the fourth part of the oh! last, last part of the Shah Rukh Khan Beneath oh. the Surface interview series. Uh, if you haven't seen the rest of the parts, they're all already on YouTube. All uh, of our parts are on YouTube. Uh, yes. Just Including look, the private parts. Just look it up. Yep. Uh, anyways, but we've loved this. It's been a fantastic series so far. Very intriguing. Everything very ins- she does is always just fantastic. Very insightful. Um, I think so. the only thing I don't like that she does is sometimes in her reviews she'll lay out the film. Oh, in her I, reviews, see, yeah, I've seen please. her do that before. I've that, <laughs> I've not only her though. If you've been around here at all, yeah. If you're a like, stupid baby, you know how we feel about that crap. <laughs> but especially her interviews, I love her interviews. Uh, yeah, she's, she's a, a great interview, a great interview, and obviously. Her and and clearly, Khan. she's earned a reputation in the same way someone did, like back when Barbara Walters was doing it, or currently Oprah. When they interview these people, they, there's an established decades-long relationship, relationship and they yeah. trust her implicitly. Here we go. And I wanted to show you, this is one of my favorite scenes from the film. We've not seen Fan yet. (laughs) I didn't know they were going to do this in the beginning of the video. I guess they're just watching the whole film right now. Uh, it's like, it's like Shah Rukh Khan is reacting to his own stuff. Uh, who knows how long this will go on. A long time, apparently, though. I don't... I love I love expression on... On his face when he... <laughs> when up, da, da, da. ...often about sort of not any longer knowing what's real and what's unreal. And and then you do a film like this in which there's... <laughs> Did it give you any insight into your own experience to do this? Or into the people who stand outside all those women we saw today just waiting. That's so badly Why we don't want uh, stories uh, ruined. To We're going to watch Fan at some point. I've always uh, uh, been scared. I have. Which is schizophrenia. So I'm 100% schizophrenic, I know, after this film. 100%. There is no two ways about it. You yeah. told me that great story about Javed Sahib saying, how are they? Me. He always calls me SRK1 or is it SRK2? But, uh, I actually, when I was writing my book, I, I did chance upon this little uh, word uh, that somebody mentioned to me once, where I am so emotional and I'm so detached, so I'm demotional, uh, which I think is uh, demotional. Is it a real thing? I think it's a real thing. I am emotional. I'm emotional about things. I'm oversensitive, and then I'm very detached also. So for me, the mindset is demotional. Specifically, when I was doing fan, 
there were moments when I have, which seldom happens to me, so now that does not happen to me. But while doing the scenes, I started crying, and not for the scene. And some scenes I was not meant to cry. But I had a lot of issues when the superstar was to play the fan playing him. Right. That was really awkward. Uh, and I'm very proud of that scene. You know, when I come in and act like him, acting like uh, him. Yeah. How he does the stage show, mimicking. Uh, yeah, that's just another level of fall of mirrors. And I, I, I would cry doing it. I've never been so frail as an actor that I've succumbed to the emotion. You know? <laughs> Oh God. I've never been the actor who cries on sets and then ah, give me a moment. I don't need a moment. <laughs> Do this. I'm a professional actor. <laughs> I, I, I why can't you be some there? pro I actors mean, do why, need a moment? Why do you have to be like so so <laughs> sort of you know? my job. I'm frail in private. I'm very frail in privacy. But don't I'm actors not. have to be frail? You can't be frail while doing this interview. You have to ask what you have to. Suppose you suddenly start weeping and breaking down <laughs> here because you're not going the way you want it. <laughs> That would be really. Yes, in the morning. <laughs> I can't do that. I'm an actor. I'm supposed to come and cry. I'm, I, I, you know, you have to be very honest about being an actor. A lot of the bravado, a uh, lot of the stuff that I do on stage with the immense amount of confidence I have, is I think 90% what I'm not. It's a desire to be that person. I've got a lot of complexes, obviously, uh, inferior ones being top of the list. I, I have so many issues with my physicality. Um, and that's why I'm so bloody confident on stage. And then post the release when it didn't go well, I cried a lot. <laughs> 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 Did it really break your heart? Yeah. Aww. Uh, when films don't do well, it breaks my heart. And, and I yeah, how know could it not? Up. What about when they do really well, like Papa? <laughs> Especially if you were convinced it was really good and, and it just doesn't turn out. Analyzing, I think uh, he was really proud of his performance and fan too. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of That's from what I've heard. For an actor. So yeah, it broke my mind. But does it make you afraid of trying something new again? Every time I fail, I am such an impudent, incorrigible, and uncontrollable, uh, arrogant, self-centered uh, human being. If you tell me not to do it, I'll do it again, and I'll do it worse if need be. And uh, <laughs> you know when. And Raman didn't do what I thought it should. Uh, I'm gonna make it. I'm wheelchair, but I'll be a superhero. <laughs> I will get it right. I cannot let it go wrong. Mm. I just read a saying while in the car. If you throw me uh, uh, to the wolves, I'll come back leading the pack. Mm. I really believe that. And I'm not being pompous and giving a star statement. Uh, I'm not happy that I feel. I wish I'd done it right. Uh, and that wouldn't have stopped me from doing newer things. But this encourages me even more. Heartbreak is followed by, no, I'm not letting you go of this. Because after two years, right. you have to do And I don't hold anyone responsible for it. The audience has the right to kick you in the butt. And, and critics too, you don't like it, you don't like it. I don't force you to like something. Mm. I like it. And for my likeness, it just broke my heart. Mm. And uh, now that it's broken, now there's no stopping because nothing can worse happen. <laughs> so yeah, now I'm dangerous. So every time I fail, I'm dangerous. So if you want to control me, then just let me succeed more. <laughs> 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 you know, um, the Lincoln Center did this tribute to Tom Hanks, and Julia Roberts talked about Tom Hanks, and she said Tom Hanks can walk into any room and make people feel comfortable. Mm. Uh, she said it's a true gift, and I think you do that too. How, how do you do it? And how do you maintain this quality through all these years? To be really honest, um, there's a word in Urdu called Mehman Nawazi. And if you've come to my place, I, I just need you to feel important because I like, I like feeling, everyone likes feeling important. Not in the way that, look, you're the greatest. And this, but I, I've been accepted so much by so many people with such different, varied tastes. And I think so you <laughs> less of me. And if you could make me feel nice, what? how little does it take for me to make everyone else feel? Mm. And I genuinely go out of my way to do it. As a matter of fact, when I'm really down and out, I meet people. Um, and I'm not, when I say people, not friends and people I know, I just want to go out on the streets and meet people. I want to touch the people whose lives I think I may have touched. Uh, because they genuinely love you. So you work at it? Now it's become... It's, it's just who you are. Also, my father was like that. I think. 
my father uh, was always very very kind courteous loving sweet told stories made everyone laugh and i know i walk with the tag of a status now uh, and i don't like it you know i don't want the status of my stardom to be my tag i want the status of you know he's a good guy man he's a normal guy i don't wear my stardom like a tuxedo i wear it like a t-shirt and that's how it should be if you're a real star you don't need to prove it in any other way than just being kindly gentlemanly normal and cool I may not, and I'm not socially. Keanu Reeves. Good, so I lose all those people that I meet at night because I haven't messaged them or returned email for the for the next morning. Some really, really good people, and they hate me for it. And but I can't help it. I don't know how to do this on that. Say hi, what's up? Thinking of you. Saw your picture on the post. Looking really cool. And last night was great fun. It was great fun. You know it. ஒன்ட்ட <laughs> 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 My biggest problem is how do you end an ongoing communication on uh, a tablet or a telephone or an email? Emoji. I, I have no idea. Smiley emoji. But which I can't do. It's too unmatched for me. Hey. <laughs> What? Oh no. What is a smiley? Mean? Then you're stuck in polite conversation hell. So which means a smiley bottom line is telling the person get lost now. All right. Like we're done. Ha, bas ho gaya. I told you I'm not do. So I don't know how to do this. I'm like uh, I need to conversation. Have you ever had a problem so, ending a conversation yeah. on via text or email? <laughs> no, but he's in a different generation than I am, I guess, you know. We're the same age. He's a so couple of years older than me. So I really ask people how to end this. Because maybe that person also wants to end it. Doesn't know like me. And then suddenly you know I have these nightmares that is it going to be that I'll spend the rest of my life talking to this person who I met at a party <laughs> that's called anxiety and sir and then I'll be here and just messaging k yo no maybe oh ah ha ha it 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 lol there's people that there's like, people that like, stress over text my wife is on it really like the, the anxiety they, they think that you're going to think something into something they said <laughs> I I don't like it. Scared. People have such anxiety. People don't like. Me. People don't like me because I don't like. I don't. <laughs> I don't respect it. But when I meet you, I can make you do lots of laws and I can make you look like a smiley. <laughs> when when we were doing the book, one of the things you said to me was um I always put Shahrukh before the superstar Shahrukh, which is why the superstar keeps prospering. You said I have my heart in the right place, which is what you need as an actor. Have you managed to keep your heart in the right place? I think so. I think so. Uh, I mean, I I read so much about me, and you know that I may be doing. Do you read about yourself? You know, sometimes it's unavoidable. Hmm. But you don't actively sort of scout information about you. No, no. Sure. no heavens, no. <laughs> Search Shah Rukh Khan on Twitter. So, He'd spend all day doing it. Yeah. yeah. They might come out and start getting them marked, but you know, I can tell my team to mark them in yellow. Mark us, keep wherever my name comes. Wherever. <laughs> it can happen not but not now as, as yet no <laughs> but uh uh I, my heart is completely in the right place there is no uh, no stardom part of me which touches me of course i really enjoy uh, i don't listen to music on an iphone i listen on a turntable and i buy vinyls and <laughs> yeah i enjoy my stardom i try to in a private jet i have no trappings like when my team gives me a big room i don't even know what to do with it and i don't even have parties in my room I just sit there alone and, like I said, play try and catch Pikachu. What I am at the core, which is I'm an actor. There's some award function I can't remember. You were like dressed in drag, doing a pole dance. Wow, Why do you he's dangerous to kids. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I may be some inner desire <laughs> <laughs> to cross dress and do a pole. <laughs> Just watching that was you and Ranveer. And I think, like, what are these guys doing? Why are they doing this? Why not? Yeah, I, mean, I want to <laughs> cross dress and do this. Like, and I do it at home. Whenever I see a pole or a sari, it's just a link on it. I can't help myself. I'm a closeted pole dancer. Great shirt. <laughs> you got me now. This is it. 
Nung din yung sikat. Hindi ba yung mahalo po lang yung dapit. It's called your... Ca- you ever worn your wife's clothes? Yeah, that was... I can't bad. fit. Yeah. Yeah, that was extremely bad. Yes. <laughs> because I'm subjected. You know, that's, a, that's the worst part about uh, being on celluloid. It always comes back to haunt you. <laughs> It's all on YouTube. You're not getting You're not on celluloid. And I didn't even have a six pack then. My midriff was so bad. Celluloid um, hasn't been yeah, used since before you were acting. You know, when you're, when you're doing things, you know, sometimes you say, let's, let's do this one. Let's kill it. Why not? And, uh, and then, you know, uh, just this creative, emotional instinct laced with a few drinks. <laughs> <laughs> and before you know it, <laughs> you're a woman. <laughs> And, and because I believe in equality, I think you should not look down upon me just because I want to be a woman. Because I question you. All right? You can't do this. You might, my children appreciate it. It's, it's a high point in their life. <laughs> and cross-dressed, that's my dad. World famous movies. <laughs> that at home. <laughs> he just can't I stop. Think that wasn't bad. In retrospect, I think, yeah. I think Ranbir's okay doing it. Me? No. <laughs> I think Ranbir's all right. Call him and tell him. It was okay. Suited. Hold it against Ranbir if you have to. Oh, wow, he's, he's not letting go of that thread. <laughs> His sarcasm <laughs> filters just keeps going and going. I don't know the way. I respect it. They exploit it. His sense of humor has gotten you into. Trouble, okay. Now I've learned, see, I don't like <laughs> jokes. Smileys are gonna sue me after the show. <laughs> do you hold back? Yeah. You do? Oh, yeah. Purposefully? Uh, unfortunately, like, you know, it's very boring. Uh, some of the ghosting I stopped doing. People have become a little uh, touchy about things. A little? Really, uh, and earlier, I, I don't know what it is. I thought with time, people will develop more sense of humor from a person who's done it regularly. And I'm very uh, uh, deprecating about myself. Extremely. 80% is about me making fun of me and, and then maybe a few jokes. Uh, but yeah, I hold myself. I've, I've been warned by my children. I've been warned by my friends. Don't. Don't. Like, you're not a stand-up comedian. Shut <laughs> So sometimes even like when I say good evening, no. No. Don't. Don't even greet people. <laughs> so yeah, I hold myself back. I hold myself back. That's why I've not been as funny as I used to be lately. You're pretty funny. I know, but I could be funnier. <laughs> I've always lost out. I'll never be repeated again. You know, this interview you did with Andrew for Tapo, in that interview, you said that um, as long as they're making movies, there's going to be people waiting outside Mandar to see. Is that something you truly believe, or is it sort of Dil ko khush rakhne ke liye khayal It's a belief. When I started this interview, I told you you were young. You have uh, some very stupid things to say, some stupid beliefs, but they are beliefs. They are the essence that you live with. These are the things which define you when you grow up. And you speak a lot, and you speak a little stupidly. And like you said, you know, do you you, you don't speak like that anymore, and you've changed and stuff like that. And I say, yeah, we're better suits now. Uh, but uh, that's true. It's the belief I've had that if I join cinema, I will be the biggest star in the world. I may, I may not. I may become that, I may not become that. I may never uh, be as big as I thought I would be. And I'm not talking material. I'm talking in terms of essence of being a star. And I wake up with that. Day. You know, when you're working 25 years of your life, and you're working 18 hours a day, and if you just get up, what keeps you going? I mean, have you ever wondered, why should I find this exciting? Every morning to get up, wear makeup and act. Every morning to wear makeup, get up and act. To act, to act, to act, without a break for 25 years. Uh, nearly 12, 13 years of my life I've gone doing it, half a day. And uh, what excites me is a belief. Until they make movies, they love me. Don't I deserve to feel good? And it's all right. Uh, and, and when they're not there, which will never happen. Uh, Just, you know, they're not there. Uh, maybe it's only because, uh, you know, They've changed their dresses. I'll just find where they are and go buy out. <laughs> we should have to do that. So, <laughs> but no, I, I don't think. I think uh, till they make movies, uh, people will like me. In casting. I believe that. And not in a um, indispensable sort of. You no, know, I'm not like that at all. But it's a belief of an innocent child. 
and that belief can never be wrong. Like your son right now believes that he'll be a better cricketer than Virat Kohli, and he will be. When I used to run 100 meters, there was no Usain Bolt, but I really thought I can beat the world record. I can't, and I didn't. Actually, I did the difference. There's a difference between belief and faith. I have faith, actually. Belief uh, can be questioned, has to be proved, has to be, it can be done in a theorem in mathematics. Faith is like faith in God, in Bhagwan. Faith is unshakable. We haven't seen God, you and I, and we have faith. We haven't, we don't even perhaps understand our books of religion, but we have faith. Um, I have faith in this statement. It's not a belief. I don't know if you live long enough to see this, but it will happen. <laughs> I don't know what you guys mind. You will retire and go away, not get a job. Me? I'm here forever. <laughs> Cost rest all that. <laughs> to enable you to continue doing great things, we've got a gift. This is what I need. Now you see, oh, you know, whatever little doubt I have, this wouldn't happen. <laughs> it's gone now. What? This surface missile. <laughs> surface. What's it called? Device. <laughs> With the surface missile, I will rule the world. A surface device. <laughs> rule the world. I will conquer the world. I will be the king of the world. I actually already am, so. <laughs> Isn't this I'm going to put my pictures in and watch it myself. I'm going to be completely narcissistic about this. He cannot turn it off. I'm going to do an interview and then to give me a present. <laughs> See Shah Rukh Khan in the next film. <laughs> then I was uh, Anubhama Chopra in conversation with Shah Rukh Khan, the greatest, the coolest, the sexy man. <laughs> He cannot turn it off. Just can't turn it off. He cannot turn his sarcasm off. No, I swear. (laughs) And I love it. He he always has such an interest because once again we've we've said I think in every single one he has a perspective. Maybe two other people have, and he has it probably in greater than either of them in terms of like the other cons essentially. Mm -hmm. Um, the, The other one that I mean it's probably the only ones that can really relate to what he's talking about is like Salman Khan. Rajnikanth and, and other just the of these big B. Ma- yeah, big B of these massive stars mm. that have had it for a long time, right? And are just beloved beyond comparison, They're, right? And there's nobody here that has that that kind of love, no. In terms of like, obviously, there's there's stars. No, there are big stars that have been beloved for a long time, like she mentioned Tom Hanks. However, they don't show up at his house. No, that's not that just doesn't happen. But yeah, he always has such a unique perspective because a lot of times he'll talk in two different elements. He'll talk in an actor's element, mm-hmm. but then he'll also talk as a star. Yeah. Which are completely different. They are. They're completely different things. Something w- over 99.9% of the world will never be- get to experience mm, Yeah, w- that aspect of life. Right. Is stardom and what it entails. Because it is a different aspect and thought process than an actor whole other world <laughs> like it's it's something most actors will never have to think about no and it's he admitted it's what he wanted i don't know about you did you ever growing up were your thoughts about i want to be the biggest movie star in the world no but i don't know if he was actually fully saying i i, I obviously everybody growing up is like i want to be a uh, yeah, I think and, all and actors actor, growing and, up, they want to be a big star, but to say... But also, it's a, I think he's talking about the naive, naive, naivete, is, is that the word? Naivete yeah. of it, in terms of, and that's why he gave the, the racing right, uh, right. thing. It's like, as kids, you don't know the art of it. You're just At like, all. Oh, I want to be a big star. No, and, and when you're a kid, the films. sky's the limit, man. Why, why can't I be... I think that's what he's talking about more than an actual literal sense mm. of it. Okay. It's more of a... I, and that's how I took it, at least. It was, yeah. it was a lot more of a metaphorical feeling to get him out of bed in the morning of just... Because, once again, that's talking to him as the star mm-hmm. than the actor. Because we've right. heard him talk as an actor. Before. Right, yeah. And, he and, wears... he. They are two absolute sides of the same coin for him. Yeah, because they're... They're different, they're, but they're similar. Like, and he's the only one that gets to experience this part of life. Mm-hmm. And it's 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 fascinating because it's something we'll never experience probably no and you won't get that for 
for the most part. I've never experienced that, even for people as A-list as a Tom Hanks, Tom Cruise, Leo DiCaprio, Kate Blanchett, Meryl Streep. They, they don't talk about what they do in terms of movie stars or actor. For them, it's just all about actor. Yeah. They don't have to carry that mantle because there isn't that mantle here yeah. for the actors. Not anymore. Not, not. They used to, we used to have the stars. Stat, we though. did. We did. But even still. It's been gone for a It's been while. gone a long, long time. And even then, it was still a very different dynamic. It's, probably, it's a whole other kind of it's animal. Probably the like beginning of the 2000s when Will Smith. Tom Cruise, Johnny Depp, we're all making $20 million a film. I think the closest that we've mentioned this before, I think the closest America could comprehend about an artist and a star and both hats being equally heavy to wear would be Michael Jackson, Elvis Presley, the Beatles, that kind of very, or, very rare. Or go into the music element, Taylor Swift. Right, Taylor Swift would be Harry Styles close to that, fan. like in terms yeah, of the fan. Justin that they Bieber, have. yeah, Gaga, yeah, yeah. I, I guess Selena Gomez right now with all the yeah. <laughs> the drama going yeah. on, right? Um, but, but when it, it comes to the actors in America, no, it's because it's just a completely different world. Yeah, we don't have this like stardom and acting are a lot of times, especially with audiences, synonymous still mm. in India. Mm. You see it in Pathan, yeah, uh, just how monumental that film is yeah um and and uh, it's changing slowly um but but i don't know if it's changing so much for the big stars no it'll never change for him yeah, yeah. anyways fascinating series very uh fantastic uh as always let us know what your thoughts are in the comments below and what should be our next shadow khan film still have a billion to get to we do let us know should be below. fan Just